Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, um, welcome. My name is Ellie. Um, I am a mummy vlogger, I suppose you would call. <laughs> so I vlog once a week about um, daily sort of life as a mum, um, anything motherhood really, a bit of beauty, shopping, cleaning, um, that kind of thing. So if you choose to subscribe before you leave, that would be amazing. But anyway, welcome to a special Poundland Christmas video. I've done Poundland hauls before, that's nothing new, but I thought I would make something new this Christmas season and I am starting a Poundland £10 Christmas challenge. So basically the clue's in the name, it's going into your local Poundland and finding the best Christmassy bits that you can for just £10. So I have done this, I'm going to show you guys what I found and then at the end of the video I'm going to be tagging a few of my favourite YouTube mums to continue the tag and see what they can find, see if they can find anything better than what was in my local Poundland. So they are all bits related to Christmas, whether they're things that I think I can use at Christmas or Christmas presents or Christmas decorations, it doesn't really matter, just they're all something to do with Christmas. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is the first thing I saw when I walked in. Obviously, naturally, I just sort of pulled myself into the cleaning aisle and then remembered that this is a Christmas haul and I shouldn't be buying cleaning stuff. However, they did have the Airwick wax melts and these are a special Christmas scent, um, specifically mulled wine by the fire. So I'm a big wax melt fan, um, particularly at Christmas time and in the winter time. So look how many you get. I mean, that's a lot of wax melts. Um, so, and they claim to give 120 hours of fragrance. So that was the first thing in my basket, just to make my house smell nice and Christmassy. So after that, I looked at all the sort of um, wrapping paper, gift bags, that kind of thing. Um, and there wasn't a lot that grabbed my eye apart from this one product here. So I do like my presents to look pretty, um, I'm quite fussy when it comes to wrapping paper, it takes me a couple of weeks of sort of looking around to decide which one I want to get. That sounds so sad, but I don't even care, it's true. And I like um, to wrap them with, you know, proper ribbon or twine. So I just think presents, Christmas presents look so pretty and just a bit more special when they're wrapped in twine like this instead of just your like standard sort of more um, plasticky ribbon. And it can be, it can be quite pricey depending on where you go, but there are three rolls of twine in here, 10 meters of twine. I mean, that's got to be enough to do all my presents. I haven't bought that many presents. So I was really pleased with that actually. Sticking on the sort of home decor kind of theme. They had a pack of nine pine cones, um, which are a good size as well. They're not too big, they're quite small. And what I'm planning to do, I have a couple of um, big sort of glass jars in my kitchen that I keep various things in. At the moment, they've got fake um, garlic cloves in them. But at Christmas, I wanna put something more Christmassy in them. So I thought I'm gonna get these, but then, you know, I was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be good if they were silver or just a more Christmassy colour? Just next to them. Is this? Silver metallic spray paint. It even says, and I didn't know this till I've just read it just now, ideal for spraying on trees, pine cones, never know how to say this, foliage? How do you say that word? Paper and picture frames. Put these two together. They're gonna make a little display for my kitchen. And I might put some other things. They had, they hadn't, to be honest, it was quite hard to stick to 10 pounds. They had loads of cute little bits in there. And they had a bag of little silver bells, which I thought would be cute to mix in with the pine cones, but it would have taken me over my 10 pounds. So now this, okay. I first saw this and I thought, that cannot be a pound. Like that cannot be a pound. It wasn't. You know how sometimes in Poundland they have like special shells and you think surely that's not a pound and then there's a little sign underneath that says two pounds or five pounds? Yeah, this is one of those occasions. <clears throat> so this was actually two pounds, but still two pounds. Now, considering I'm a very Christmassy person, I actually don't own a wreath. 
and I've always wanted to, but they are not, they're not cheap. Like if you want a really, really decent one, it's quite an investment. You have to spend a fair bit of money. And if you're not up for that, which I wasn't particularly this year, then something like this is great to like keep you going, I guess. I mean, it was two pounds. Like it's even got little pine cones in it. And it was just, it'll do, you know? Maybe next year or the year after, I'll feel like really going for it and investing in a big, proper wreath. But until then, I just can't believe that two pounds. I mean, if I hang it on my door and it just falls to bits, I'll let you guys know, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. Okay, this is kind of a bit of a novelty thing that I bought, I suppose. But obviously, let me set the scene. It's Christmas morning, you're opening your presents, and if it's, if it's in your house, then you're the one who ends up getting out the bin bag, going round, getting all the wrapping paper and doing the tidy up. However, look at these festive merry bin bags i mean that that'll make the clear up a little bit more festive you can't really tell from the box so i'm actually just going to get one out and have a proper look oh it's quite cute it's quite small though i mean christmas morning you want your big black sack you want your biggest bin bag i don't know if this is the biggest bin bag i've ever seen and <laughs> it's quite cute though hold on I'm definitely going to bring these with me. I have just noticed a little bit of a flaw. There's no like, what do you call that, pulley thing. I like a good pulley thing on the top of my bin bag, makes it easier, doesn't it? But just think how festive you'd feel tidying up with this in your hand. Okay, I just got way too excited about bin bags. So my last three items are more around um, my son. So like I said, this £10 challenge is more challenging than it sounds. I could have got loads more. There were loads of good bits for kids in there. Loads of um, nice little stocking fillers as well, like little toys. Obviously that cost a pound each that you could just use to fill up the stocking. Um, I nearly got him a pair of like little antler horn things. <laughs> I did not just say that. Antler horns. <laughs> They're called antlers, reindeer antlers. Oh God, I'm sorry. Just blame blame the sleep deprivation on that one. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is there was loads of stuff there. I just got three things about Leo. So first is super boring, but super essential. Any mums watching this will know that if you get to Christmas morning and you don't have any of these in your drawer, you're in trouble. I don't know anywhere cheaper than Poundland for batteries. I mean, there's 11, AA batteries in here for a quid. And you know, they're not a bad make, they're Kodak. It's not a make I've never heard of. So make sure you've got your batteries at the ready for Christmas morning because not many toys actually come with batteries in them these days. It's very annoying. And you know, when you get a cracker and sometimes you get that weird mini like screwdriver kit in there that you think is just useless and you'll never use, always keep it because those tiny little screwdrivers fit the tiny little screws that are in your kids toys on Christmas morning. My dad always keeps them and they always have loads of those little mini ones at their house and there's a tip for you. So Leo is really into stickers at the moment. Basically, um, I haven't posted or talked about this yet but I am going to because it's worked so well. But he is a toothbrush um, phobe or he was a toothbrush phobe. I mean he just wouldn't let me brush his teeth. It was turning into a bit of a daily battle and it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. So I started just giving him a sticker every time he let me brush his teeth. He sticks them up on his windowsill. I mean it looks but you know he's brushing his teeth so. Um, and it's working like he loves getting a sticker. He lets me brush his teeth all good. So they have Christmas sticker packs in Poundland. So you get two sheets for a pound, really cute little stickers on there. So I thought as of December, which is tomorrow, not that he knows or cares, but we'll start using the Christmassy stickers. There were loads of like coloring um, books, all sorts of stationery and things like that if your children are a bit older as well. And the last thing, like I said, there were lots of stocking fillers. And one of the things I saw, which I just thought, oh my God, that's such a good idea, were these bath crayons. Up until I saw these a couple of days ago, I didn't know there was such a thing as bath crayons. Apparently, 
these crayons you can draw on the bath with them and it'll just wash off <laughs> I mean if it doesn't we're in trouble but he loves the bath he's never happier than when he's in the bath and he's not too keen on holding crayons and things so I'm thinking maybe these will get him a bit more interested in mark making and all that and they have a cute little like push-up thing for when it gets blunt yeah I'll let you know let you guys know about these ones because obviously if they don't wash off so there you have it, there is my £10 Christmas Poundland challenge. Like I said, it was actually more challenging than I thought it would be to spend £10, there's so much in there, so get down to your local Poundland, see what you can find, so many Christmassy things. So the mummies that I challenged to carry on, this Poundland £10 challenge tag is, so my first choice was the lovely mummy that is SJ Strum. I will tag her channel and the other mummies channels in the description box just below. I chose SJ because she recently started the baby name tag um, which I took part in and really enjoyed and kind of gave me the idea to start a similar sort of tag along um, plus I think she'd be really good at it so yeah that was my first choice I also tag um, the lovely Ash Reed or Mama Reed again her YouTube channel is just tagged below um, she is the queen of all sort of hauls and shopping her hauls are always great so I thought she'd be really good at this also Lucy Carter who I've also tagged below um, is great at Poundland hauls and B&M hauls and that kind of thing and is a mum of two boys so I thought she would enjoy doing this £10 challenge. And finally the lovely Rebecca Lamb, basically for the same reasons as the two mummies that I just um, mentioned before, just because I love their channels and I'd love to see what things they can find in Poundland. For ten pounds. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching my Poundland um, Christmas haul, ten pound challenge, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe before you go. Um, lots more Christmassy videos to come, so stick around, and I'll see you in my next video.